Welcome back to, to Ladybug Lane Soaps and this is Margie and I hope everybody is having a good day. Well, I don't know what happened to February. February was such a fast month. I mean, it's gone. It is gone. And this is the first Friday of March and holy cow, it's just, um, I don't know, time is just flying. So, here is my goggles. On goes, on goes my goggle. So, today I am going to try to fill up these two 8-inch molds. They're not 10-inch molds like I thought. And I am sure I'm going to have some, some extras, so I'm going to fill up these ones here. Now, these are from Nurture Soap, and they're supposed to hold about a pound of soap. And these ones are from Crafter's Choice. And I believe they hold about 44 ounce, 40 ounces uh, flush there. So, gang, today, today, I am, I really need to start using up my, my fragrance oils, essential oils that I have. I, I see so many online, so, you know, other ones online that I would really, really like to buy, but I keep telling myself that I just, I need to use up the ones that I have, you know. Anyway, so this is a lovely, lovely, probably one of my most favorite ones from Brambleberry. It's called Cocoa Butter Cashmere. And I don't even know how to explain it. It's just to die for. Um, actually, let me, instead of yakking away here, or as I'm yakking away, <laughs> let me explain what Brambleberry says about it. It says it's a cozy uh, fragrance, perfectly balanced between sweet, woodsy, and warm. Opening notes of light spices and cedarwood are followed by rich vanilla tonka, warm coconut, and jasmine petals. Okay, I've never smelled the jasmine petal, but I'll take their word for it. <laughs> Olive wood, sandalwood, amber, musk, and a touch of cocoa butter rounded out this sophisticated scent. Now, I've only used this once before, and it it was, I mean, it was, it's just such a nice fragrance. I, um, I just don't even know how to explain it. It is just so nice. Now, this is what it looks like out of the bottle. It's It's dark. And and it does say that it discolors discolors there we go to a dark brown and that it does accelerate in cold process. Now I cannot remember for the life of me if it did or didn't accelerate. Um, and the vanillin, I keep wanting to call it vanillin, but vanillin is ten point ten and a half percent. So that's um, so it's a little a little bit on the dark side so I I do have a plan um, but I think it just depends upon uh, the acceleration but with it accelerating and with the and I, I, I do need to lighten up some of the layers with the titanium dioxide and uh, just a little tip. So I made I made this up a couple of days ago, and so you kind of get this uh, globity, globity. Okay, that, that's that's a marky word, globity. You know, it gets kind of thick on the bottom. So what I did, I took the top off, I put it in the microwave just for maybe about five ten seconds, kind of gave it a stir, you know, so it kind of warms up and and gets that the thick part off of the bottom. And I did not, did not add any, uh, no sodium lactate, no table salt, um, no other additives, you know, no kaolin clay to this, because I just knew it was going to kind of thicken up on me, so I just kind of wanted to play it safe. So, all right, let's just take a quick, quick temp here. Just kind of like to, just to kind of see where we're at. Give it a stir. Okay, so we're 
we're around 70 76 for the oils and for the almighty lie where we're at here so I did have to warm up my lie okay so we're about 84 -ish. so I did have to heat up my lie in a bucket of hot tap water because it was about oh 65 because our kitchen is cool there we go that looks like a lot of oil and everything in there so i really want to just pour all of that fragrance oil in because that's what I usually do so I don't forget it but if it's going to accelerate on me like the like Brambleberry says okay let's just quick little go here going into emulsification let's see it is going to be dark because I did put in the um, green olive oil you know what okay I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna want the whole thing light so let's just add a little bit of sounds like someone was taking a tinky there huh let's that in the mold for a minute. All right. Move my stool. It's kind of funny because uh, so I'm just mainly smelling in the other room my my citrus bars that I made a couple days ago and I think that is probably the the avo bath that I that I use from nurture so I think that's one of my all-time favorite favorite fragrances is just to die for it. All right. Right, the plan, the plan. Oh. This can be the darkest one. Actually, I don't even know why I put this guy in here. Okay, so I think with the acceleration, I'm just going to hand stir it. Okay, hand stir this one here. Let's get these guys over here.
this fragrance, the Cocoa Butter Cashmere from Brambleberry, really didn't accelerate it um, like, I, like I thought it was going to be. So I put a little bit more of the, oh gosh, I even forgot to mention that. Ah, so sorry. Um, it's the Gold Sparkle Mica that I've been using from Brambleberry. So I put a little bit more in, in this last little dribble here. And I was just kind of letting the soap set up just a little bit more because I want to kind of peek it up here. Peek it up, make peeks. <laughs> Just kind of see what's. There we go. We got some crisscross action going there. So before anybody asks me what this Sahara Gold is like, I have no clue. No clue. It's just a little. What is it? Five gram sample that I have and I don't even know if I've even used it before so okay so I just mixed this up with just a tiny bit of almond oil so I hope it, well, it just doesn't sit on the on the soap okay do you think that's enough I don't want to overdo it here. All right, gang. Well, like I say, for better, for worse, I gave it a go. So, I will probably be cutting this probably in a couple of days. Usually I can cut it, um, oh gosh, maybe like within 18 hours or less when I put the salt in the lye water or salt in the water before the lye water there we go and so since I did not do this it might take another another day to unmold so anyway I will see you when when it comes time for the cutting all right everybody have a good day bye bye